beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed First John five nineteen. Are you there? Some people are opening the Old Testament. You must be joking. Hallelujah. First John five verse nineteen. If you are there, let's read together. One to read. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world, the whole world, lieth in kindness, brotherly affection. It says, the whole world lieth where? In wickedness. This is the truth that many people have refused to accept. This world we live in is surrounded by wickedness. And tonight, briefly, we'll examine the mystery of wickedness. Hallelujah. Very, very important. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 to let us know that there is an operation of wickedness that is present in the earth and because we live here today and now and we plan to live here for a very long time it's important to understand the realities that are here and how to exempt ourselves Ephesians 6 verse 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against what? Against, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Finally, against spiritual wickedness. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Some versions say in heavenly places, the heavenlies. I told you that there are many planes of heavens. Is that true? Remember our teaching, the reality of what? Heaven and hell. Get the teaching. I told us that there are many dimensions in the realm of the spirit. Many, when you say the heavenlies, you're not necessarily talking about the heaven of heavens, where God dwells, or the third heaven. There are many planes in the spirit, and the Bible generally calls it heavens. Are you getting my point? And I told us that this is where some people have gone to and come back and say they went to heaven. They went to astral realms. They went to different kinds of realms. Hallelujah. The Bible says that there are entities that are called spiritual wickedness. It's even a name. Spiritual wickedness. And they dwell in the heavenlies. They operate from that plane. Hallelujah. So the whole world lieth in wickedness how come we are not taught that this world we live in from the moment you are born you are born into a system that is fabricated and doggedly into wickedness and until you exit this realm you are going to live with the reality of this predicament 
So, knowing how to exempt yourself and your loved ones and exempt all that are around you is the reason why we are taking this topic. Are you getting my point? You are not going to stop the world from being wicked. Are you getting my point? Because the Bible calls Satan the God of this world. The God of this system. The one who fashioned a system that does not honor the values of the kingdom. Someday, every knee will bow experientially. Is that true? And every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. But as at now, we do not yet see all things. Remember our teaching last week? We do not yet see all things. That's the reason why there are a brother who was saying, armed robbers came and wanted to injure him. Think about it. Why will somebody sit down in the night? While you woke up in the morning, he was thinking, I'm going to wound somebody this night. How can a man think this is his goal for the day? I must wound somebody this night. It's called the mystery of wickedness. How many of you say, oh, why are they treating us bad? Who did I offend in my village that they want to stop me from marrying? Welcome to the reality of this world. You, you don't, Dr. Paul and Encher says, this, this, the earth realm is not a playing ground. He said it's a battlefield. Whether you believe it or not, as you grow, the realities that will confront you will make you to reconsider whether it is a joke or it is true that wickedness is real. Many preachers, listen to me, many preachers in a bid to magnify God and demagnify Satan have, while that is a good intention, they have lied to people. Are you getting me? Lied to people that uh, there is the concept of wickedness it does not exist. Please get this once and for all. Wickedness is real. Are you getting me? Somebody just gets up and looks at you and says, Benga, I don't like you. Why? I, I choose to hate you. And my life's goal is to prove to you that I hate you. You buy a nice car and take it home. Somebody just begins to frown. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Car. How old is this boy? 25, 25. I was 40 when I bought a bicycle. And because of that, listen, listen, listen. Many of us grew up in the cities. We grew up around. We watched all kinds of, of, of deceitful films that have covered us from the reality of the fact that wickedness is real. A number of us here are not working. But for those who are working, you know that when you get a job, for one single space of promotion, there may be a number of people. And everybody is eyeing every other person. Is that true? The day your director calls you, they call you and say, so what did he say? The next day you come back and your director says, don't be stupid. Me, I spoke to you. Something happened somewhere that you are not aware of. But you are paying a bitter price. Those who understand that wickedness is real and have equipped themselves with the revelation and the spiritual arsenals will keep soaring as if Satan does not exist. And they will leave others crying and languishing. There are many of our loved ones who don't go home. Some of you have not even gone home since you were born because they told you one scary story. They say nobody goes there and comes back the same. Hallelujah. The weapons of our warfare. Occultism is real. Witchcraft is real. Yokes are real. Bondages are real. Even Jesus said he was sent to deliver those who have been locked up in prison. They didn't see the prison physically, but they are in prison. Moving, but in prison. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what is affecting a lot of families. A lot of families. And I prophesy to you that in the name that is above all names, as we are teaching, just as the teaching is going on, many of you will suddenly find out that liberty, you are just liberated from this nonsense that the devil wants to tie you with. The strength of evil 
is ignorance. The strength of evil is ignorance. That's the highest weapon Satan uses against the people of God. Ignorance. The Bible says in Psalm 82, it said, They know not, neither do they understand. They know not. And then a few of us have gone a step further to know the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And it's not producing any result at all. So we are going to be examining these things. Praise the Lord. So wickedness is real. What is the goal of wickedness? Why wickedness? What is the goal of the evil that we see in our society? What does Satan want to achieve with armed robbers and terrorists and wicked people in the villages and around witches and wizards, necromancers, people who try to project wickedness to people's lives? What is the goal? We must know where Satan is going. Why is he doing this? Hallelujah. What is the whole idea behind the, set, the, the devil trying to turn the heart of your father against you or your mother against you or your loved ones or your employer or your boss or your pastor, whatever? Why does Satan enjoy wickedness? What does it do to him? Hallelujah. Wickedness or evil generally is brought to attempt to achieve three things. Number one, to discredit God. To discredit God in your life. To discredit God. If there is anything Satan is obsessed about, is bringing you to a point where the credibility of God drops to zero in your life. How many of you have heard people say, I used to trust God, but right now, I trust anything that works. God or others. Have you heard people speak like that? They say, I remember, I trusted God. From 17 years till 40 years. God didn't bring a husband. Right now, I trust any other thing. Whether a stick, a candle, fire, once it produces result, I trust it. That's exactly the goal of wickedness. When armed robbers attack you and you are shouting Jesus, Jesus and they still injure you and they wound you. When certain things happen, they attempt to discredit God. Discredit the word. Never forget this. The mystery of wickedness was put in place by Satan. First in an attempt to prove that God is not as great as we claim he is. So, when a man has been victimized so much, that, that, that pain becomes a stronghold in his mind. How many of you have seen people that when you are praying, their eyes are even open, they are just looking at you, saying, in Jesus' name, Amen. While you are praying, they feel like slapping you. Once you just round up the prayer, they just move. You know they didn't believe this at all. The mystery of wickedness at work in their life. Hallelujah. Are you getting my point? When you tell your parents, oh, I'm attending Koinonia, God is doing great things and then the devil orchestrates something terrible to happen. Are you getting me? Your father has an accident or something like that and he returns back and you say, daddy, I just wanted you to know that I dropped your name in the prayer request. He will give you a dirty slap and say, you and all the liars and every man of God is a liar. The mystery of wickedness. Number one, to discredit God. Do you not see that that was exactly what Lucifer tried to do in the Garden of Eden? He came and met Eve. Read his conversation with Eve. He said, did God really say if you eat of this fruit, you will die? Now, you know that he used half truth, right? It was not, he just patched it up. He said, but do you know that there is a story you do not know? And that's why, that's what you will know when you eat of this fruit. And truly, when they ate of the tree, the eye, their eyes were open and they began to have a sense of the knowledge of good and evil. So number one, to discredit God. 
Number two. Number two, to weaken and possibly destroy your faith in God. To weaken and destroy your faith in God. The Bible says, be not weak in faith. Speaking about Abraham now. Be not weak in faith. The Bible says, he considered not. So, wickedness is orchestrated by Satan. Listen, please. Wickedness is orchestrated by Satan to weaken your faith. When you really see wickedness, you will need to trust God to stand. That's what philosophers are using. Why can a loving God allow children to be dying in Sudan? Is that not what people say? How can a loving God allow this and that to happen? And it weakens your faith. This is why Jesus says, if the Son of Man returns, will he find faith in the earth? Hallelujah. Are you getting my point? Especially for many of us who have been taught that when things go wrong in your life, it's a sign that something is wrong with you. It's a sign that something is wrong. Satan capitalizes on the inconsistency of that message. And when anything happens, you just believe that this trust you've been having in God. This is why Job said, though he slay me, Satan, you won't achieve what you are trying to achieve. Though he slay, Are you seeing now? Job's wife came to a point where she was tired. She said, Job, Mio, I don't think God is faithful again. Curse God and die. When your wife tells you to curse God and die, that's a level of discouragement because she's supposed to be the last person that will stand by you. Are you getting my point now? So to discredit God. To discredit God. Number two. To weaken or totally destroy your faith. Number three. What's the goal of the mystery of wickedness? To perpetuate. Listen please. Very important. To. I'm thinking of the best way to put it. To to become a channel through which the program and the evil agenda of Satan for nations will continue. Let me explain what I mean. How many of you have heard that word covenant? Why will the devil want our forefathers huh, to go and bow to him? And enter a covenant on behalf of people yet unborn. What, what, is, what is his passion about people that are not born yet? Are you getting what I'm, I'm trying to explain now? Because Satan is trying to secure a channel through which he can pass a transgenerational channel. Do you understand what I'm teaching you now? Are you getting my point? So although it will take 30 or 50 or 100 years for this generation to be born, Satan will say, you, since you are representing them, and I'm going to explain this to you. I will explain to you, I hope, if I can remember, the mystery of reproduction. And you understand that reproduction is not just about sex and giving birth. The Bible says by one man, not one woman, sin was transferred. Are you getting me? By one man through the blood. Praise the Lord. So he now enters a covenant and says, All right, in this family, we will worship you, give us children. We will worship you, give us protection. Deal. Is that true? Now he can go and give birth to 30 children, no CS with his wife. No CS, no hospital. But there will not be any complication because a pact had been entered. Are you getting my point? Fast forward two or three generations, somebody comes up and says, I believe in Jesus Christ. I'm not going to involve myself with all of these things. Because, you see, I'm going to talk about the mystery of blood. Blood does not have time. It speaks. It will raise an alert in the realm of the spirit. Something is being compromised here. And the next thing that will happen is that these people, because they are trying to breach a contract. Are you getting me? 
So it will activate the mystery of wickedness. The devil will now come to say, who is trying to stop this? And if you have authority enough, you will be the one who will break that cycle and enact a new one. Are you getting me? And if you do not sustain enough knowledge, you will die. And then the devil will say, this is a, an example of what I can do with anybody who plays with me. And the other person will say, I'm willing. Are you getting my point now? I don't know how you are going to write the third point, but that's what I, that's what the third point is. Praise the Lord to become a channel through which transgenerational wickedness will be perpetuated. God bless you, sir. The mystery of wickedness. Look up. How many of you know that if there are no human beings in the earth, wickedness will be unfruitful. It won't yield any result. Is that true? When you understand this, you will know that wickedness will not cease. In fact, the Bible says it this way. The Bible says, um, how did he put it now? It says, ah, end time, Matthew 24, how did he put it? How that people will be offended, is that true? paraphrasing like wickedness will increase the imaginations that are in the hearts of men will increase look at me those who are praying listen and i want you to get this those who want to solve their family problems by just saying in the name of jesus christ wickedness will not happen to me when I finish with you, you will know that there are certain things that if you do not do, that prayer is incomplete. Because there is already a seed, like a gene. Are you getting what I'm saying? Do you believe what I'm teaching? I know this is wrestling a lot of our theology. Oh, I'm in Christ. Calm down. We're, 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 we're heading somewhere. Because many of us have been cheated. Oh, therefore, if any man be in Christ is a new creation, I will show you that your personal salvation does not change your territory. Are you getting my point? That I am born again does not automatically make my mother, brother, sister, and father born again. If that were the case, everybody would just kneel down on behalf of their clan and just accept Jesus once and for all and let's rest from this nonsense. Hallelujah. Is that true? So wickedness is real. And the goal is to discredit God. To weaken your faith. Every single arsenal that Satan launches at the believer is aimed at discrediting the faithfulness of God. Because he has a name and he is called faithful and true. That means he does not lie. That means he cannot lie. That means he is ever his 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 um ever faithful through all generations but when things begin to happen in your life that negate what the word of god is saying that's satan attempting to discredit god in your life say amen the mystery of wickedness wickedness is real brothers and sisters this operation is working in our government this operation is working in our families look at me look at me how many of you have heard the stories of parents who will put something in hot iron and carry it and press it on their children is that called discipline that is the mystery of wickedness hallelujah or a mother look at her own daughter and say i curse you you won't marry, you won't move forward. This is a, it's a spirit. It's not just an attitude. Are you getting what I'm saying, please? And if we do not understand this and deal with this, it will limit us in a very mighty way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for opening our eyes. So the whole world lies in wickedness. The whole world, your village, your house, the job you are trying to look for, that office is in the midst of wickedness. You may be born again, 
but are your fellow employees born again? Hallelujah. And you are going to have to live with them. You do business with wicked people. You go to buy rice and buy gari from somebody who went to a herbalist. You bought it, you ate. Is that true? So you're not going to say, me, I'll only work with Christians. Uh -uh. It's impossible. You live in a world where everyone is permitted to believe what he wants to believe. And because of our interrelations, you must find yourself relating with people. So you must know how to keep Satan where he belongs. Praise the Lord. Are you following me so far? Hallelujah. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the realms and jurisdiction, the boundaries of demonic operation. I won't stay too long in this aspect because I guess that this is the part that has brought fear and confusion and this is one of the most unscriptural areas of spiritual warfare in terms of its explanation. This is where you have people um, write accounts in an attempt to show us the structure and the organogram. Are you following me now? I know that there are many books, hundreds and probably thousands and even millions on books of books on spiritual warfare, deliverance, and so on and so forth. And there are many opinions. Are you getting me? The Bible tells us something very interesting. It said, do not be ignorant of the devices. I told you the word devices is the word stratomai. His strategies. So, we are just concerned about his strategies. We are not necessarily concerned about the kingdom and what the organogram of the satanic kingdom is. Are you getting my point? I personally believe that an extensive study into the organogram and the structure of Satan is not really necessary. Especially in light of the fact that we know that in Christ he has been defeated. Are you following what I'm saying? So I'm just guiding us just to bring awareness. There are many books and I've read some of them. You have read some of them. Hallelujah. They begin to tell you all kinds of things. They list physical territories in the earth where there are headquarters of demonic activities and so on and so forth now i'm not i do not have enough authority to dispute the things that are being written are you getting my point especially for those that do not compromise the written word of god some of these things were written by people who allegedly said they were part of the demonic kingdom and for some of them they were deep into occultism there are lots of books, Occult Grandmaster, Now in Christ. There are books by Rebecca Brown, Mary Baxter, um, Dr. Olukoya, who is considered to be an authority in the subject of deliverance and spiritual warfare. There are a lot of others, you know, different brothers, prophets, people, and so on and so forth who have written books. Others went to heaven, others went to hell, others died and came back, others just studied the Bible. So we have this extensive um, description, level 111, level 999, level 666, level, you know, this and that and that. And for many people we have, rather than concentrating on the strategies, the methods of Satan and understanding our victory, we have paid attention trying to study and research on the organization of the demonic kingdom let me tell you something if you do that the danger is that everything will suddenly become demonic around you have you seen people like that why are you looking at me like this they just say kai this lady you are because of something they read they say okay in our kingdom when we want to seduce a man we look at him like this so a lady is quietly she's even feeling sleepy and just looking at you just say kai in jesus name don't Lord of Jesus, you are putting sign of the cross. So, we don't want to see this kind of immaturity in the body of Christ. That's why there must be a balance. Are you following me? There are people who don't wear black on Friday or on Sunday because they read a book and they say, every time you wear black on Friday, notice, check left, you will see a star. That's a sign that we are coming out. You know, and all kinds of sects come up with... now. I hope you understand that I'm not condemning anybody. You get my point? I'm only trying to explain to you that it is 
quite counterproductive to spend all of our time and energy trying to understand the entire organization. Listen, how many CEOs maintain the same structures? They change. So that you were delivered from occult in 1980 does not mean the organogram that used to exist still exists. It is logical for any leader to be dynamic. Are you getting my point? So when you come and say, okay, there is a demon. His name is Luke. He's the one in charge of Zaria. He's the one appointed to stop Koinonia. His name is Luke. What if Luke... What? <laughs> what? What if Luke was promoted or demoted and they now brought another person and you are still advocating and you say, Luke... I'm speaking to you now. You are hearing my voice. Luke is somewhere saying me. I'm not even in Nigeria again. And now you are shouting. You see, there is a lot of spiritual ignorance. A lot of it. And most of this has come because we have uh, not necessarily gone out of scripture, but taken other materials and used them as the ultimate template to help us understand the realm of the spirit. I think sufficient enough is the information the Bible gave us about Satan. I believe it is sufficient enough. Praise God. You get my point? If you were in the occult before and you were delivered and you wrote a book, please don't feel sad. If you wrote prayer point that your book should increase, it will increase. We prayed for you. Hallelujah. But at the same time, don't go about sitting down teaching people and saying, okay, in the realm of the spirit, Red means danger. White means this. Yellow means this. So don't wear yellow shirts. If you really mean business with prosperity, keep yellow shirts aside. This is part of the teaching that has moved from church to church and place to place. So we have brought religiosity and a lot of forms of religion in an attempt to keep Satan. There is nowhere in scripture, listen, or you say, ah, don't take products from Procter and Gamble. They are Freemason and all of that. What do they make? How many of you have used their inhaler? You force it in your nose and you and did you go to hell? Did demons come to disturb you? You see, I'm saying this thing because we are touching on this topic and I'm trying to clear the air. There are many of you who say, I know somebody is a bad person. He sells meat. Me, I know this guy goes to the Habalis. We won't eat his meat. Question. The one you have been eating before, who told you that that meat was not taken to a Habalis? Are you getting my point? Rather than allowing fear put religious rules, why don't you rise up in Revelation and realize that the Bible says a thousand shall come by your side. Only God knows how many poisons I've eaten in my life. Because the Bible says when they serve you, just give thanks and eat. Hallelujah. Many of us don't eat certain people's food. Just say, this lady is always frowning. At. I won't eat her food though. I don't know what I've entered right now. And then many of us, listen, I have had other teachings. Aha, let me even talk about it. I've had other teachings that say somebody can come to you. Come. He can just come and hug you and he has initiated you. Listen, let me balance something very quick. Was that how you got born again? You think, listen, I want you to understand that the will of man is a powerful force. Even Jesus stood at the door of the heart and was knocking until man agreed to open. Are you getting my point? If you are not in Christ or you are ignorant of the principles of the kingdom, it is possible. Are you getting my point? But to now come and say, oh, because I'm just sitting down and you came to put with one on my head, suddenly I've been initiated, except you don't carry fire. The witch doctor together with his fire, it will burn into ashes there. There was a time people were complaining that a particular woman in Joss, she was doing some kinds of funny things and then getting power to make people come and eat her food. You know how many people ate that food? 
when they told me the restaurant, I laughed. I said, oh Lord, I don't know whether I've eaten here or not, but it cannot have power over me. Unto thee, O oh Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O oh Lord, do I lift up my soul. Oh my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me i pity the person that will go to a coven and call my name that's the last time you will have the opportunity to shout it believe me see i'm rushing myself because let me see if we can get to weapons of victory except you don't know the spiritual arsenals you carry let me tell you satan can bow this is the sweetest part of this gist. That's why I want to rush all these things so that we'll get there. Say after me, Satan can bow. I hate the way Satan has been so magnified. There are many people who teach, they say, do you know that these classes of demons are so powerful? Not even you can stand them. There are people who believe that. I don't believe that. Absolutely. I don't believe it. The Bible says God gave him a name that is above every other name. He said at the mention of that name, every knee, not some, every knee must bow. Hallelujah. Let's rush. So, jurisdiction, number one. Number one. The realm of the spirit. Territories of operation. Or realms of operation. Number one. The Bible says that they operate in heavenly places. So that is a realm of demonic operation. Please write quickly. Can you put strings? I'll put it on there. Hallelujah. Wickedness. Now, these are the territories that exert it upon government. Remember that the Bible says, there's no time to show you this. The Bible says when Daniel was praying, remember the story? The Bible says that principality that was operating over the territory of Persia, the prince of Persia, which stood the prayers of Daniel. Is that true? When Gabriel was going to bring him the answer, he said when, he, when Gabriel arrived, he said from the very first day that you set yourself to pray, your prayers were heard. Okay? And while he was coming, the prince of that territory. So there are powers that station themselves across territories. That's why you can see that certain geographical territories exhibit similarities of certain character. Is that true? You find out that certain people, certain territories, the men are irresponsible. Certain territories, you know, they, they, are, they are given to anger. Certain territories, they are given to irresponsibility and all kinds of things. You find out that it's a common trait because of these operations of darkness in the heavenlies. Second is the air. Please take notes. This is very important. Notice that it is the features that the Holy Spirit uses to manifest himself that Satan also operates there. The air. The Bible talks of the prince of the power of the air. These spiritual forces of wickedness are the ones who manipulate and control people because the media is through the power of the air. Are you getting my point now? They are, they are the ones who initiate mind control systems. And this is probably one of the most disastrous manifestations of darkness. Deception and ignorance. Are you learning something now? So the air, the prince of the power of the air. Second scriptural proof that the air is one jurisdiction of operation. Remember when Jesus was going to meet the madman in Gadara. What happened? The Bible says suddenly the winds and the waves became boisterous. But Jesus looked and he knew that this was not just about wind. This was not just about the storm. Look at the tsunami that happens. Is it not wind? Wind. These are spirits. It's just that we cannot see it with our optical eyes. 
They are spirits. Hallelujah. Are you learning something? So the air. Number three, water. Water. This is very important. This is where we talk about the marine world or marine spirits. This is the jurisdiction of darkness that is responsible for prosperity, for lust, for seduction, and all kinds of perversion. Every kind of immoral perversion is associated with this dimension of demonic operation. Water. Very important. Are you learning something tonight? Water. And this one is very important. That's why you find out that territories that are covered around the river Rhine areas exhibit attitudes of lust. Are you getting me? Lost on faithfulness in marriage and all kinds of... You see it rampant. Are you getting my point? This is spiritual intelligence. I will give you sufficient to the point that you need that I believe you can research more. But I think that explaining to you what I'm explaining to you is giving you intelligence. So that when you are talking with people, it's like a doctor diagnosing a patient. With this spiritual intelligence, you will understand. You will know how to act. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There was a time, I remember at the Bar Beach, it was, it was a popular issue that uh, I think a particular bank or organization built a glass house. Is that true? They built a glass house and the witches and wizards around the marine, they wrote a letter to them. They said, you better do something about those buildings before we scatter it. You are interrupting us. Water. Very important. Very important. Job began to talk of the deep sea creatures. He called it Leviathan. The deep creatures that arise from the water. You read the book of Revelations and it tells you, you see the interaction of water and all of these things. So I've told you the realm of the spirit, the air, the atmosphere. Kabosha. The water this water one is very serious do you know something i will show you from scripture something that may surprise you do you know everything you see in existence the animals and the rest do you know they came out of water they came out of water genesis let me show you very quickly there's an army rising up there's an army rising up there's an army the rising up they'll break every chain break every chain break every chain Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Help me search for it. Genesis 2. Verse what? 21 yeah beautiful thank you good bible students verse 20 and 21 genesis 1 are you there i just want to show you that the water is a very mysterious object and god said let the waters do what Bring forth abundantly. So there is a mystery of abundance and water. Are you understanding me? Is it in your Bible? It said, let the waters bring forth abundantly. Hmm. The moving creature that have life. Where did they come out from? It said, and the fowl that may fly. Even the fowl came out of the water. It's in your Bible. Above the earth in the open firmament of the heaven. Verse 21. And God created great sea monsters. And every living creature that moveth. 
which the waters poured forth abundantly. Are you seeing now? Is it in your Bible? The water. Very, very important. This is why Satan associates himself a lot and there are many demonic, diabolic things that happen with water. Hallelujah. The next medium of manifestation is fire. Notice that these are the same expressions of the spirit. Fire. Almost everyone here, or most of our villages have festivals. There is no festival without fire. How many of you have seen diabolic people put fire and keep putting it around them? What are they trying to achieve? It is a realm of operation of demonic substances. See, let me tell you something. Fire is a big mystery. Big mystery. You can't hold it. It doesn't fear anything, but it consumes everything that come ar comes around it. Hallelujah. Fire. Very important. Even the world will be judged with fire. The first judgment was with water. The second judgment will be with fire. Hallelujah. Number what now? Four? Number what? Five. I'm going to give it to you now. The fifth one is the earth. Dust. Earth. Adam. Look at me. How many of you have seen people in your village get angry and they carried sand and spoke to it and dropped it back? Or like the Igbo people do, when they take small drink, they pour small on the ground and say to our ancestors. Hmm. What is it about the earth? The prophet looked and said, O earth, hear ye the word of the Lord. That means the earth is not non-living like we teach in biology. It was in the days of Moses. The Bible says the people rebelled against God and the earth opened its mouth. It has mouth. It swallowed them. Till tomorrow we cannot find them. Hallelujah. Do you believe this? These are jurisdictions of operation. That's why priests and the rest put their shrines on the ground and then they sit down even if you give them one million they won't go and build a luxurious house that earth they must associate themselves with the earth hallelujah these levels this medium these realms of operation every manifestation every single medium of manifestation let me give you one more are you ready Human beings, human vessels. As far as Satan is concerned, this is the best medium of manifestation. Why? Because every other thing I've listed does not have a will. They don't have willpower, as it were. Are you getting me? And they don't have souls. Only human beings have souls. Please, are you learning something? So Satan entered the madman. Remember the madman in Gadara. Do you know that the entire spirits across those territories, they were resident in that man. He stayed in caves. He was alone. He caught himself. But the moment Jesus was coming, without any publicity, he came out and went to wait close to the water and was waiting for Jesus to arrive. Immediately Jesus arrived, he began to talk to him. He said, we know who you are. Have you come to destroy us before our time? What time? What time did Satan teach them? Let me tell you something about the powers of darkness that you must understand. When they say their time has not come, what that means is this. Listen. You cannot seize their operation from the earth, but you can seize their operation from your territory. Are you getting this? Please understand this. That's why we can't all sit down right now and say, Satan, leave the whole world. Go to Venus or Mars. 
relocate there after all is empty go and build a new kingdom leave us in peace so says the apostles and the prophets no you can't do that what you can do even jesus while he was on earth he didn't cast satan out of everywhere wherever he met with him he told him mr man go listen jesus himself answered one request of demons they said please cast us to the pigs what did he say in other words he knew that as far as exiting this realm is concerned they are not going to leave what we can do are you getting my point so that there are certain prayers we will stop praying at once are you getting my point many people pray and what they mean by their prayer is to tell the devil bye bye pack your load and go let me not see you and don't even go have you had that prayer I cast you into Gehenna. Have you had that kind of prayer? Don't come out again. Uh, is that really an accurate prayer? No, no. Don't feel bad. Believe me. With the kind of prayerful people on earth, if that prayer were answerable by now, there would have been some clear air that shows that sufficient demons have gone down to Gehenna. Gehenna is called the place of the dead. Are you getting my point? Listen. He said resist the devil. There are people that pray all kinds of prayers. Oh, we cast you and we lock you up across a forest. Just stay there. Those kinds of prayers are not accurate prayers. Please, please listen. Don't be offended if you are used to praying those kinds of prayer. But I want you to know that we cannot cast Satan and demons out of the earth. We can only secure our territory. Are you getting my point? Because the Bible says Satan is like a roaring lion. He's like that. He moves to and fro. Praise the Lord. Say I'm learning something. Water wind the atmosphere i just want you to know that these are operations of darkness every time a native doctor or a herbalist wants to do certain things one or more of these elements must be in place yet these are the same elements that the holy spirit associates himself with what does that tell you discrediting god you see that thank you jesus Let's touch on weapons of victory. I'll just use one and then we'll stop. Where? What's the time? Oh, there's time. Praise God. Don't look at the time. Look at me. The clock is not preaching to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, before we talk of the weapons of victory, let me just speak very quickly on the strategies of Satan. The strategies. The strategies. This is, I think this is the one that is very important. Strategies. There are three main strategies from scripture. They will not change. This is the one you can bank on. They will not change. Do not be ignorant of the devil's stratomai, his strategy, his way of doing things. It can come in different forms, but it is one of these three number one i shared it last week ignorance 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 second corinthians 4 verse 4 ignorance are you there okay i thought it was projected let me turn there second corinthians 4 verse 4 In whom the God of this world. Okay. Second Corinthians 4. Not Chronicles. Sorry. Second Corinthians. No problem. Let's continue. In whom the God of this world or this age. The word age there is aeon. 
in whom the God of this system, the thinking pattern of this system, has blinded the minds of them who believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine upon them. Is that in your Bible? It says Satan did what? Blinded their minds. Everybody say ignorance. The number one, and hear me, as sophisticated as Satan looks, his greatest strategy is to maintain ignorance in the lives of believers or across territory. Say ignorance. Notice, every manifestation of wickedness in the earth realm has been strengthened by the ignorance of the people. Because the moment they know, they will revolt until victory comes. Every bad government in the world has been able to execute its agenda by enforcing ignorance. Are you getting that? That's the spirit of the power of darkness. Say ignorance. Ignorance. Now, come. Any other guy again? Come. I need two gentlemen. Stand here, stand here. I want to explain something. Stand here, stand here. Now, please, everybody look at me. I want you to understand this and I pray you get this revelation in Jesus' name. There are two sides to the understanding of the kingdom. Please don't forget. There are what? Two sides. The first is understanding the person of Jesus Christ. The person of Jesus Christ. The second is is the principles of Jesus Christ. And that's what we call the principles of the kingdom. Is that true? Are you following me please? So the person of Jesus Christ. When you come under the lordship of Jesus Christ. When you surrender to Jesus Christ. You have embraced his person. But that does not automatically mean. That you have knowledge of the principles of the kingdom. Are you getting my point? The person of Jesus Christ secures your eternal destiny and secures your peace. The principles of Jesus Christ secure your victory in this earth realm. So there are many well-meaning believers who know the person of Jesus Christ in terms of their loyalty to him, but they lack sufficient understanding of kingdom principles. Are you getting my point? For instance, there are many well-meaning Christians who are poor and broke and they may remain like that forever. And they believe that just by being close to Jesus Christ, automatically prosperity comes. No, there, there is a kingdom principle that governs it. Is that true? There are many people, although they are close to God, many people hate them because the kingdom principle for access is honor. Are you getting my point now? So whether you are a Christian or not, when you dishonor people, you will never have access. Are you getting my point? So there is ignorance. What Satan tries to do is to take this first level of ignorance to stop you from seeing the light of the gospel to come to Jesus Christ in the first place. But if he does not succeed and by any means you surrender your heart to Jesus Christ, this becomes the second phase of the ignorance. He stops you. Are you getting my point now? So there are many well-meaning Christians who the devil has lost it on them as far as the person of Jesus is concerned. But he has shielded them from understanding the principles of the kingdom. That's why when somebody gets born again, the next mission is to subject him under a radical teaching ministry where the principles of the kingdom will be taught and then he will understand. This is what spiritual growth is about. Growing in intimacy. This is why we call koinonia intimacy and partnership. Intimacy is our knowledge as we progress deeper to know God. Partnership is our working with the word and with the spirit. Are you getting my point now? Do you understand this, this explanation I've given you? Because the greatest tool that Satan uses his number one strategy is what? Ignorance. So, an unbeliever comes. How many of you have seen a lot of unbelievers who understand Bible verses? 
they understand a lot of Bible verses. You say something, they ask you, they say, okay, let's turn to the book of Matthew. I have this and that. And the next thing, they will not accept the simplicity of the gospel. Are you getting me to surrender to Jesus Christ? Then, when they eventually surrender, the devil makes them feel that there is nothing more in the kingdom. So, they remain in church and they think remaining in church is equal to spiritual growth. So eventually they tell you, I've been here 20 years. And based on that, there is nothing you will tell me. Ignorance of the principles. Are you getting my point? This is the deliverance that is happening to some of you right now. Because you are born again. But you don't know why things are not moving the way the word says should be. Could it be that you do not yet have the comprehension? Paul himself prayed in Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 17 to the Ephesian church who were already born again. He said, for this cause, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, that he may grant unto you the spirit of what? Wisdom and understanding or revelation. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, flooded with light, that ye may know. So the Bible tells us, that according as his divine power has given us what? All things. But those all things are encapsulated in knowledge. When you have access to the principles, the door opens up to you at once. That's why all things are not possible for everybody. What is possible for me, although we are all equal in Christ, but our comprehension of kingdom principles have created the divide. So I can speak to a demon spirit and say, Go! And he will go. Not because my born again is greater than your own. But my, I have a greater comprehension. Two students in the same class. Taught by the same teacher. One gets 100. One gets 50. Are you seeing that now? It is the degree of their comprehension. It is because of that. That some will be 30 fold. Some will be 60 fold. And some will be what? They all produced. But according, the Bible says those who were on good soil were the ones who had and understood. But the difference was their degree of understanding. Are you following me now? Say the person of Jesus. Say the principles of Jesus. Say the person of Jesus. Say the principles of the kingdom. The question I want to ask you is, how many principles of the kingdom do you know? This is the measure. See, listen. Listen, this is very important. Healing, for instance, healing comes from the body of Jesus. By his stripes, we are healed. Are you seeing that? Favor does not just happen automatically. So, when you understand the laws of the spirit, then you will know how to navigate through life. So whenever you, f you see a roadblock, you go back and search out diligently what kingdom principle is responsible for the result you are looking for. Because if God did it, then it is possible. It is only the light that will open the door. So arise and shine. Not because you want to arise. Your light, access. When that revelation comes and you understand it, the door is opened at once. If you understand what I'm teaching right now, it's automatic. You don't need to pray about it. That's why, see, the Bible says while Jesus was teaching, the power of God was moving around, waiting for those who will understand and believe, so that at once it will be activated. While Peter yet spake these things, the Holy Ghost fell on them because they understood and they believed immediately. Are you getting the point now? So when the word of God returns to him, it's because he did not find a believer. Praise the Lord. Are you getting me? Bless you. Bless you. Weapons of victory. Let me just take one. The name of Jesus. Hmm. I will share a revelation about the name. There are many weapons of victory. Maybe let me just run to a few of them. The name of Jesus. The mystery of the blood of Jesus. Listen. The power of praise. The power of a seed. I'm going to teach you 
the weapon, spiritual arsenals that will lock the hands of Satan at once. The power of prayer. Hallelujah. The power of unity. The power of love. All of these are dangerous spiritual weapons that will keep Satan where he belongs. Is this teaching benefiting you? Are you getting something? So I'll just take on one of them. The power of the name of Jesus. We'll sing that song, There is Power. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. We'll sing that song one more time to the shame of the devil. And then we'll just pray. Just pray in tongues for a minute or two and then you sit down. I'm about to give you a revelation that will set you on fire. Shabakata labaka presekete baladadada. Shembreda baladadada. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. To break every chain. To break every chain. 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 Sing it one more time. Break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. Can you stretch in tongues for just one minute? Zakata pakata preketa. Mamrosote kata balada baka. Shapata la baka. Mamrosote balada baka. Shapata. Ipa pa pa pa. Oh, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power. There is power. There is power. In the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power. In the name of Jesus. There is power. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. Take your Bibles. Let me have your attention. Lord, let our eyes be open. Show us something powerful. Let me tell you something. There are many of you, if you catch this revelation tonight, you will be amazed. This name will work for you. Years ago, I called this name, oh, nothing happened. I shouted Jesus. I said it like a special number. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Open our eyes, oh God. I show you a mystery right now. Mark 16. break every chain there are some chains that need to be broken break every chain break every chain break every chain verse 15 mark 16 15 and he said unto them go ye into all the world and preach the gospel Take my value system to every creature. He said, he that believe and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believe, believe not shall be damned. 17, if you are a believer, please read it. One, to read is projected. Stop. Stop. This sign shall follow them that believe. They will do certain things when they have a revelation of my name. He said, in my name, they will do what? 
it tells you all the things that can be possible in the name in my name they shall number one number two number three they shall take up what hold on what is the meaning of that what is they shall take up serpents what is the meaning of they shall take up serpents i will soon explain it to you because jesus told moses i mean god told moses remember he said take the serpent from the tail i will show you what that means they shall take up serpents it doesn't just mean carry a physical snake remember at the burning bush when moses met with god i you remember are you getting my point he threw the rod is that not true and he told him to take it to hold it by the tail is it not in your bible i will show you what that means to take up serpents it's a revelation it's a revelation i will show you a scripture that says the horn in a man's body is on his hands a horn is a symbol of power are you getting my point so he said with that horn you will take up serpents it's a mystery i will explain he said in my name that will happen he said and if they drink any deadly thing that means if they move in my name no poison will harm them so long as it is in my name he said they shall lay hands i will show you the mystery of the laying on of hands it's not just about touching people the horn in a man's body is his hands the apostle said that you will stretch forth your mighty hands the right hand of god the bible says is the hand of power not his right leg he said they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover listen i want to explain to you the mystery of the name praise the lord hallelujah please if i call you come benga The first revelation of the name of a man is it invites his presence. When you invoke the name of a man, his presence is encapsulated in his name. Are you seeing this? I called his name and what happened? His presence showed up. So the Bible says, and the Lord walking with them, confirming their words with signs. It happened because a personality was answering to his name. So they went in the name. This is what it means to come in the name of the Lord. To come with the backing, the presence of God. Weapons of victory that can kick any satanic arsenal out of your life. Hallelujah. Watch this. I called his name. And he confirmed that that name is true. The name of a man is his identity every time see listen listen that's why when god met certain people he changed their names because the name of a man represents the prophecy of his life it represents his ability it represents the prophecy upon his life when he met jacob he said no you are not a cheat and a supplanter as a prince with god you have fought and prevailed i change your name to israel and the prophecy started following him the mother of jabez bore him in sorrow and all through his life the name was following him name follows people a name is a spirit is a presence and jabez said oh that thou wouldest bless me change my name hallelujah are you getting the revelation now so the first revelation is that the name of jesus compels his presence to show up in that scene listen now you understand what paul was saying say not in your heart who will ascend to heaven and bring god or who will go to the deep he said but the word is near you even in your mouth that means when it is uttered with revelation the presence shows up no time no distance are you getting my point this is a very very powerful revelation very powerful revelation you must believe this let me demonstrate something take this hold it this is ordinary handkerchief who brought this handkerchief are you seeing this this is an ordinary handkerchief he's holding it right give it back to me watch the power of the name this is not just for jamboree Thank you, Jesus, in your name. Hold this. Hold it. 
What is the difference? He just held this. Is it not so? He held this. He held this. You see the power of God there breaking out again. See, this is a revelation. This is why saying in Jesus' name is not what will bring the miracle. There is a revelation. This is what I want you to know. It will rattle from the realm of the spirit and it will affect you in this realm. This is a handkerchief he held. That's why I did it in your presence. It's the name. Say not in your heart. Who will go and bring him from heaven? He is closer to you. This is what koinonia is about. The reality of a personality that can be demonstrated here and now. Paul said we do not teach cunningly devised fables. These are not just stories that cannot be proven. Unbelief. So you can be, listen, you can say Jesus, Jesus, nothing will happen. The next thing I want you to know is, what is really this name? Let's examine it. What is the name? We have said what the name can do. But what is the name? Look up please. I want to shock you. Listen. The name is not Jesus. You see where people have been missing it? This is a hospital. There's surgery going on right now. The name is not Jesus. He said in my name. He didn't write the name there. He just said if you can find what that name is. What is the name? The name is not J-E-S-U-S. -S. Listen. The Bible says, Isaiah speaking. He said, you shall bear a son. They shall call him what? Emmanuel. Did they ever call Jesus Emmanuel? But the prophet said, that will be his name. The name was a revelation that God is with us. Is that true? He said, they shall call him Emmanuel. Nobody ever called Jesus Emmanuel. Jesus was a name that was given to him in the earth realm. There are Mexicans that bear Jesus today. In fact, in Hebrew tongue and Aramaic, it's not Jesus. It's Jesus. That's what they call it. So it's not in the pronunciation. It's not in J-E-S-U-S. -S. Before we pray, tonight, once and for all, I want to reveal to you what this name is. In my name, Kaya Zata Kabarata Makapakata Teketata Deka Sekapata Beka Mambrosko Beka Talia Baba 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 Seke Proska Bariata Sokotopa Sopadiata Embreketeka in the name I come 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 Get this revelation tonight. Get it. And rise to a new level. Get it. And rise to a new realm. A new dimension. You don't have to say it. The real is here. The authentic is here. Listen. Listen. Look at me. Look at me. Listen. I want to explain something to you. Listen. Many of you think that it is an act of arrogance when I tell you all men are not equal. We are equal in Christ, but something has separated people. The Bible says there are some bodies terrestrial, some celestial. Not everybody you see is the same. It's not pride. This is why we are bringing us higher. I tell you the truth, you will shake hell. This is how you will live as if Satan does not exist. You are coming in the name. Hallelujah. Philippians chapter 2. 
Zeka kapata kata balada bakate basi. Zende brato shalama. God doesn't care whether it's Koinonia or anywhere. Anywhere his name is mentioned, he shows up. He doesn't want to know whether you are playing or you are taking it serious. It's a law. When you invoke it, he shows up. Because every man answers his name. Only a dead man does not answer his name. Oh, I believe the Bible. There is an angel standing close to this lady. Breakthroughs are already happening. Deliverances are happening. Believe it. Deliverances are happening. I give the chains falling. Strongholds. I give the chains falling. I command every chain fall. I give the chains falling. I command every chain fall. I give the chain falling. I command every chain fall. I command every chain fall. I command every captivity go to and from now. Every sickness, go. Every infirmity, go. 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 Every yoke, every disease. I hear the chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Let me show you something that will surprise you. Hallelujah. Sam, come. Watch this. Father, let the sounds rise in your name. Watch what will happen as he sings. Just raise any song and sing. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy life. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy life. Let hope rise. was the same person that ministered the same person that seen many of you do not understand the power in the name Jesus didn't lie to us believe me that name is powerful that name is powerful every demon and every spirit just a symbol in this place right now every foul devil at the count of three i come in the name go 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 every spirit every demon 
every devil I command you in the name go out out you will not return again go go he said in his name we will cast out demons I cast out demons now in that name go 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 Every problem you have come here with tonight, it leaves you here now. Every problem you came here with, I don't care what it is. In the name, in the name, it will bow now. Every problem, every problem, every challenge, health, finance, in the name of Jesus. down if you can we have to finish this please sit down sit down sit down if you can if they can't sit down just leave them please we have to hurry up I'm teaching you this because God is depending on you the goal is not to watch a man of God do this the goal is to show you that this is a possibility here and now take that name go and dislodge powers in your house let the people of God know that your coming for koinonia is not just a religion without a demonstration of the kingdom they will doubt you Go and change the things they say cannot be changed. See, you don't need to care how it will happen. Just go in the name. Just go in the name. Philippians chapter 2. Let me reveal to you what that name is. That's why I told us to pray in tongues. Something special, supernatural about the name Jesus. Something happens when I mention your name. Listen. God gave us power to solve problems. If you are not interested in solving problems, you will never get the power of the Holy Spirit. Solve problems. Philippians chapter 2. Let's hurry up. There are many weapons of victory, but I'll talk on one. Philippians chapter 2. Let's take it from verse 8. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Verse 9. Wherefore, Kabbalataya, God had so highly exalted him. Stop. I taught us last week that until Jesus died and rose again, 
he was not yet exalted. Is that true? Listen, I want to surprise you. The name was not yet given to man officially until he was coronated. Are you getting me? Because as it were, when Jesus was on the earth, his name was limited. Why was it limited? Because he was a man and he had not defeated death. So the last enemy to be destroyed, death, still had power over him. Are you getting my point? This is the reason, listen please, this is the reason why when he sent the 70, he begged them not to go to certain places because the power would not work there. But when he resurrected, remember Mary wanted to touch him. And he said, no, don't touch me. You will corrupt a coronation that is about to take place. This is what the psalmist saw. And he said, the Lord said to my Lord, sit thou at my, that was the coronation service of Jesus. The moment that happened, he returned to earth. And he said, all hail. Now, all power has been given. Go therefore. No boundaries, no limitations. You just go. Anywhere it will work because a coronation had happened. Are you getting the point now? So, he begins to give us by revelation. Paul said, wherefore, God exalted him and gave him. That means before then it had not been given. He gave him a name. What is this name that we have been looking for? He said, which is above every other name. Verse 10. Whatever that name is, whenever that name of Jesus, he said, at the name of Jesus, the name is not Jesus. Every knee should bow at the name that was given to this person called Jesus. You get my point? Every knee should bow of things in heaven and of things in the earth and of things under the earth ready for the name let me show you 11 and every tongue should confess that that jesus christ has now received a name that is called lord that's the name that's the name that was given to him look at it that's the name lord psalm 24 quickly psalm 24 Psalm 24 verse 1 Psalm 24 verse 1 Are you there? Everybody read one to go Stop! Did he say the earth belongs to God? Do you know what Lord is? Lord means master Lord means owner Ma Lord means authorized legislator authorized so the earth belongs to whoever will bear this name called Lord the name was reserved no one had taken the name yet when Jesus defeated death God said you now qualify take the name so you now become the literal possessor of the earth are you getting me now the earth is the Lord's so the Bible says if you want the name, here is the condition. The name is upon a mountain. But who shall ascend to that hill? And who shall stand in his holy place? This is the requirement. He that has clean hands and a pure heart. No man qualified to ascend that hill. But Jesus was as a man tempted like us, yet without sin. So he ascended the mountain. That's why the Bible says, before he led captivity captive, he first ascended, he descended. After that, he ascended. He took the name and he came back and he entered the room without the door. And he said, all hail, all authority has been given to me. Listen, this is what Jesus said. Listen, he said, whoever believes in me, I will give the privilege to share my name. You get the point? That name, Lord. So just like me, he will become an authorized legislator. So in my name, he will cast out devils. So that it will not make any difference whether it was Jesus speaking physically or you or a handkerchief. Whatever comes in the name 
brings the presence of Jesus directly. That's why whether you speak English or Hausa or Greek, demons don't hear those things. They didn't speak English in Bible days. All you need to do is come in the name. So handkerchiefs and aprons were taken. Handkerchiefs and aprons. They contacted the name. Lord. It says, and the fullness thereof, the world, and all they that dwell therein. Listen. 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 Listen, please. The Lordship of Jesus is the revelation that when you come under, you have carried the name. It's not Jesus. It is a revelation that this man, God has made him both Lord and Christ. He's not just the anointed, but he has become the owner. Are you listening to me? So if I look at this sister, for instance, I come in the name because she belongs to God. I have the authority to cast out whatever is molesting her because I come in the name. Are you getting the revelation? Hold on. Many people think it is J-E-S-U-S. -S. Do you know why we shout Jesus? We want unbelievers to know that the owner of that name is Jesus. Are you getting my point? When you tell demons, go, is go J-E-S-U-S, -S. is go L-O-R-D, they search in the spirit to see whether you have the revelation of that name. Once you have it, they will obey you. So after this night, you will go back home in the name. Many of you, you will go and look for what you left and say, where is it? And it will say, I left. Because the person who left was not the person who came back. You came in the name. Remember, there was a certain time, even the disciples could not cast out devils from the epileptic patient because they did not have the name. They thought it was just Jesus doing a lot of things. Now, when they had the name, Peter was angry in Acts 3. He says, now it's my time to shine. He saw the man who was lame. And the Bible says, it says, silver and gold I don't have, but I have something. You can know you have something. He said, this is what I have. In the name. You see that? That was his treasure. He said, this one, no man can take it from me. I may not have silver and gold, but I have something that can solve your problem. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up. The man was still looking at him. And Peter said, you don't know the power of the name I'm invoking. He held him. And the Bible says, he leaping stood. Son of man, he said, can these dry bones live? He said, I don't know. He said, all right, now you prophesy. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. That's the secret. When God gives you his name, he has authorized you to legislate on his behalf. As many as received him, he gave them power. The power is not falling and rolling on the floor. The power is the ability to share in his lordship. Hallelujah. This is what makes ordinary men to become something else. So that you see an ordinary man moving. But you don't try him when he calls on a government that is bigger than you. You see that? We are going to pray. I've been hearing that there are many people that molest people on their way home. We are going to pray. Let me tell you the truth. I pity the next person that would try to molest anybody here. It's the name. It's the name. Listen. Please, I want you to believe this believe this years ago they stole my laptop thieves came to our house we we're all sleeping they just carried the laptop and my brothers were running to chase them and honestly when i got up i just had commotion and i was laughing my own was not that i lost that i was just laughing i said oh god i love you if my laptop doesn't return give me money to buy another one and an angel appeared before me and he just did this and that was the end of it. Seven hours later, the laptop was back on my table. Hallelujah. Some people from nowhere mobilized themselves 
and made up their mind to look for the thief they went and caught him in pizza i was busy counseling the name see the name of jesus is powerful don't let secular humanism or the things that you that did not work for you before make you think it does not work are you getting me you say ah but i use the name i told you they stole my wallet my, the wallet didn't come back but that does not ever mean that the name is not powerful this is the problem with a lot of people we are too our our faith is too small the moment something does not happen we just conclude this thing doesn't work you think so hallelujah praise the lord let me stop here we'll continue next week rise up i feel the spirit of prayer hold your hands together Come, take a take a labakaya. So top prakata take a prakata prakate. Hold your hands and pray in the spirit. Just for five minutes. Please, all the instruments coming. Pray in tongues. Shake a take 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Very quickly, we'll take three prayer points. Number one, listen. Let me tell you why this name does not work for many people. There is a little secret in the Bible that many of us ignore. The secret to resisting the devil. The Bible says, submit to the mighty hand of God. Submit. Your degree of submission is your degree to which his authority will flow. Many of us have not yet submitted to the lordship you have given your heart to the lord that's true but you have not come under his influence tonight you are going to pray and say lord i willingly submit to your authority to your government pray and watch the wonder watch the wonder of what will begin to happen in your life Inside and outside, make sure you are praying. Brata stop a bad yana bako sekete lega de mo. Rabau sabata kapata na bregadia. Lord, I submit to your governing influence. Brado sabar yana bako sekete bregadia. Lord, I submit to your mighty hand. I submit. I submit. I submit to your authority. I balabosha batala bregadi gede gede ya. Rabosha tanda bakata le bregadi ya. I bosha tanda bakasa gede le bregadi ya. La bosha batala bregadi gede gede ya. I dosa tanda bakasa. Hallelujah. Listen. The centurion surprised Jesus Christ. He gave Jesus a revelation that touched him. Jesus said, let's go to your house. He said, no, you don't need to go. For I am a man under authority. I'm under the authority of the Roman government. And by reason of being under that authority, I tell one, go, and he will go. I'll tell the other, come. And Jesus said, what? I've not seen this kind of faith, this kind of revelation in Israel. Submit yourself to the mighty hand of God. Then resist the devil. Hallelujah. 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 
in the next five minutes i like you i don't know how you are going to pray leave your hands praise god i know we are men of prayer listen you have been confronting darkness but you try it now in the name you you see the revelation david met goliath he said you come to me with your spares but i come to you in a name in a name you come to me with bow and arrow i mean i may be small but there is a name an office i invoke the power of an office hallelujah praise god is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am that's what the lord is asking you tonight is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am what is it that he cannot do is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am the god of wonders that can change situations that is too hard for me to do i am that i am hallelujah now listen the issues that have been affecting your life and your family in the next five minutes tell it i confront you in the name that sickness in the name come on prayer warriors come on prayer warriors we the situation in my family is changing is changing is changing i command breakthrough in the name of jesus i command breakthrough in the name of jesus i command healing i command miracles Command your marriage. Command your prayer life to come alive. Confront your unemployment issue. Confront your business. Confront your family. I come in the name. I come in the name. I come in the name. Set a dead loss. The Lord rebuke you. 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 Let chains fall. Let miracles occur. Let testimonies occur. Lord, I release breakthrough. 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 In every family. Hallelujah. 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 Prayer point number two. Please listen. We are going to pray. And this night, 
you're going to say i take my eyes away from every challenge whatever the devil has used to discredit god in my life are you hearing me there are many of us that cannot trust god because of the things that have happened or the things that are happening the bible says abraham wavered not at his faith through unbelief he considered not the deadness of sarah's womb although she was close to a hundred years he counted him faithful faithful god cannot lie satan can be tired your faith can weary the devil listen right now i want you to lift up your voice and begin to prophesy and say i take my eyes away i don't care what is not working or what is working god you are faithful and your word must ah, come to pass. You are not a man. Come on, lift your faith. Lift your voice and pray. Provoke faith. I'm a believer. I believe the word. Heaven and earth will pass away. But the word will not fail. The word will not fail. Pray. Let us say Christ in my spirit. Oh, I believe God. I believe God. His promises are yea and amen. Pray. That sickness will leave. That oppression will leave. That failure will fall. The marriage will come. The child will come. The building will be completed. Your spiritual life will grow. Your prayer life will grow. The habit will die. The marriage will work. Yes, Lord. We are men of faith. We are a faith-filled generation. Koinonia is a place of faith. They that trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion. They cannot be shaken, but abide forevermore. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. I see a lot of testimonies coming. Mighty testimonies. Believe me, mighty testimonies. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In the next five minutes, we are going to be praying in tongues all over this place. And I tell you, chains will just be breaking. It's already happening at the back. This road, this very road, the power of God is setting people free. This road, this road. Go ahead and pray. Let's go, 
Whatever has held you bound must let you go tonight. Must let you go tonight. We insist in the spirit. Hallelujah. Whatever you came here with must let you go tonight. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes, Lord, you will visit your people. This is the pool of Bethesda tonight. The pool of Bethesda. The pool of Bethesda. There is a stirring. I know when something has been stirred in the spirit. I know when there is a stirring. I tell you, there is a mighty stirring. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Yeah, 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 has just disappeared a lady has been healed right now right now check yourself a lump in the breast I don't mean reduced it has just disappeared just like that <laughs> hallelujah 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 there were things I planned to do, but right now something has been stirred up in the spirit. And let's just ride with it. Lift your hands. He has been made Lord above thrones, dominions, and every name that has been named. I'm about to challenge principalities and powers. The powers that has kept you bound. Many of us are under yokes and spells of darkness. I tell you as you shout that name we will invoke his presence there will be a mighty deliverance mighty deliverance everywhere inside and outside at the count of three listen goodness at the count of three you're going to shout that name many of our issues and problems are tied to demonic oppressions but as you shout that name the sword from the hand of Elohim will strike through your life and cause a separation between you and anything God has not planted. There will be mighty deliverances. I see mighty deliverances that will happen even outside. Are you ready? At the count of three, shout it with all your heart and there will be breaking. 
of curses and yokes. Are you ready now? One, Hababakate Prosotai. Two, get ready, get ready. The fire of God is everywhere. Three, I command devils, come out, come out. Yokes, be broken. Yokes, be broken. Yokes, be broken. Yokes, be broken. I confront powers. I confront principalities. Activities of witchcraft by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside, outside, in the name of Jesus, everyone under the influence of every power that is not of God. I command those demons. Go, 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 go. I give the chains falling, falling. I give the chains falling. Rekete ba 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 ba. I give the chains. I give the chains falling. For I the chain, I keep the chain for oh. Break chains, break. That's the command in the spirit. Break chains, break. It must leave you tonight. Break chains. Hallelujah. Straight up, God is going to be breaking the chains of delayed marriage. Lift your hands, everybody. Delay. The Lord is instructing me to cause that spirit that came from all kinds of ancestral activities. Believe it or not, wickedness is real it has tied down many of us even maritally especially our families hallelujah you're going to shout that name jesus one more time and as you shout that name anyone under the sound of my voice whether you or your family members you may not even know that this may be an influence over your life but tonight in this pool of Bethesda, as you shout that name, my God will visit you and tear apart anything that is causing a delay. Lift your hands. Goodness, I see many ladies who will receive their deliverance right now. At the count of three, with the clash of the cymbal alone. One, two, three. Now I cause that spirit. I cause that spirit. Powers, powers of darkness, spirit husband, spirit wife, I curse you, I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost, I curse you, bring them out, I curse you by the power of the Holy Ghost, release their marriages, every spirit that you have been covenanted with, that is stopping you, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, bring them out. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage. Be open. Gates of marriage that has been tied down. Hallelujah. 
We are still going to pray. This is not all of it. Hey. Hallelujah. There must be a breaking. Right now it will happen. Some of you, it may not be directly on your life, but your family members. The sword of judgment is coming upon altars of darkness that say you will not marry. Lift your hands. My God, I thank you for the fire of the Holy Ghost. When I count three, shout that name. That power must let you go. That power must let you go. I come tonight with an apostolic unction in the name of Jesus. Hear my sound in the realm of the spirit that at the count of three, let God's people go. One, two, three. Let them go. I command the release. Exodus, Exodus, from this land of delay, Exodus, I prophesy, I decree, I declare, establish it. They must go tonight. They must go tonight. They must go tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, just lift your hands. Just this row, lift your hands. Because I see the angels of God standing. And I'm wondering why they are concentrated on this row. Listen, when I count three, I see the angels of God moving with cops but they have fire in them and they'll be pouring it on people it's still an aspect of deliverance at the count of three this will happen thank you my god one two three let the angels move right now let there be a movement a stirring a stirring a stirring a separation a stirring by the power the fire the power, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it ever. Break it. Go close. Bring them out. E parando popalianda tapata. Break it, 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 I hear the chains falling, falling. I hear the, I hear the chains falling. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, 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 break every chain. Hallelujah. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel, Gabriel, the Lord is ministering to me. Gabriel, I give the chains for him. Gabriel, I give the chains for him. I hear the chain. Bring this lady. Chains. Bring. Chains. 
let her go now by the fire of the Holy Ghost look at this lady has been tied down hallelujah this is the cause of hardship on our family there's nothing that they do that will succeed it doesn't matter what happens but right now I instruct you because I see you in the spirit realm go go right now go by the power of the Holy Ghost let her go the same thing is happening to that lady let her go now let her go one usher lay your hands on her both of them both of them go go right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I command in the realm of the spirit go break shame hallelujah now listen all the people in front here God brought them out I'm not speaking to them I'm speaking to every spirit that was identified you know my voice at the count of three I instruct you to let God's people go at the count of three by the fire of the Holy Ghost you are leaving God's people now one two three go Go, 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 this lady is acutely under demonic oppression. Acutely. Bring her. Change for me. I give the chains for Come. Just leave her. She will come. I give the chains. I give the chains for how can a lady do this? Come back. Come and kneel down here. Right now. Leave her. Leave her alone. Come right now. Hey. You just leave her. You will see the power of God in this place. Today. Hallelujah. Listen. I want to pray for people with pain in the chest. A number of people with pain around the chest. Pain around the chest region. Hallelujah. Lay your hands there right now. Ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Chains. Leave her. She will come right here by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please lay your hands. As I pray for you, listen, a number of you are going to feel something just leave you. When that happens to you, please run and come out here. A num you will literally feel something leaving you. When that happens, let's have those people here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lay one hand and lift one hand up. And let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just help me with a symbol. Right now, in the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed. Whatever is holding you, peptic ulcer, be healed. I command that spirit out of them now. Out of them now. Out of them now. That spirit, leave them now. Be healed. Be healed. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. Now check yourselves. Check yourselves. Do what you couldn't do. Hallelujah. 
I'm seeing someone with a severe pain on your kneecap. Just this kneecap. Very severe pain. In fact, it even affects you sometimes when you are walking. Where? Which of them? How long has it been? Okay. Lay your hands there. Both of you. Pastor, right? You're a pastor? Okay, no. I, I, lay your hands. That devil is a liar. Look at me. What's wrong with you? Huh? I've been having this knee problem. The bone is very tiny. The bone is tiny. And the load is heavy. And the load is heavy on it. Yeah. I even felt Hold my hands. Way. It's okay. Bone grow. In the name of Jesus. Grow. I cast that devil. Grow. I command you. Grow. Grow. Lay your hands and I'll pray for you right now. As I lay my hands upon you. Please test yourself and do what you couldn't do. Thank you, Jesus. Let the power of God come upon you right now. Please check yourself as I pray for you. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. God is doing miracles already. Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? Yeah. Just. No, no, no. Come on, give Jesus praise. God is healing people right now. Any pain? Any pain? Don't pretend it. Don't worry. God is healing you. Are you feeling any pain? Do what you couldn't do before. Look at this. Come on now. Look at this. Thank you, Jesus. Hold my hands. God is going to set you free. Hold my hands. We need to pray for you. Because I see you lying down. Touch that guy. Just look at me. God is setting your family free in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost what is this that I'm seeing I'm seeing money but it's tied with snakes this is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit the Lord is bringing financial restoration Lord let it be I stretch my hands by the force of the Holy Ghost using him as a point of contact in the name that is above all names let there be breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Victoria. Victoria. I'm hearing the name Victoria. Please if I call your name or your case, just hurry up. We have a lot to do so that we can. Victoria. There are two Victorias outside. There are two Victorias that are supposed to come outside. Where are you coming from? Outside, yeah? Victoria. There's one more Victoria outside. Both of you are outside. The Lord will visit you. How are you, my dear? Are you married? You know why? Do you know why? That's one of the reasons why you came here, Abby. Is that not so? You were praying to God and you told God to visit you, man. Yes, sir. Is that, do you know me? No, sir. Have we talked with you? No, sir. The devil that has stopped your marriage must let you go, right? Amen. Now. You believe that? Yes, sir. Because there was a time a man came into your life and he, was, he looked like he was serious uh, for reasons you cannot even explain. Yes, he sir. just gave flimsy reasons and left. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know why he left? I don't know. This is what I'm telling you. I see this all the time. I'm seeing the face of an old woman. It's not your face I'm seeing. This is what is driving men from you. It doesn't matter what kind of man comes. Something must happen and he will leave. But tonight, we see the chains falling. Hold my hands. I cast that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I need to pray for you too. Lay your hands on your stomach. If I don't pray for you, when it's almost time for marriage, they are going to tell you that there is a cyst growing in your stomach. Because sometimes you feel pain. 
Is that not? Even now, before even now you are feeling pain. Yes, sir. Especially during your period. Yes. The pain is very I severe. And you have Im sometimes even irregular is when it's supposed to stop. It doesn't stop at that time. Yes, it is this thing we want to destroy. Hold my hands. Break chains. Break. You will feel like fire going through your stomach. The pain will go right now. Thank you, Jesus. Check yourself. Check it. Do hit yourself. Any pain. Any pain. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you. We call your husband, not a man, your husband. Wherever he is, I connect you. You will come and testify in the name of Jesus. This year, 2014. I lay my hands upon you and I release you to your marital destiny. Break, break, break. Come, my dear. Where's your mother? Is she fine? I need to pray for her. The devil wants to put sickness in your mother. Father, for your mercy. I want to pray for somebody. Listen, this is a family and there is no reason to be embarrassed. That lady on pink, just touch her. Come. No, just where she, stand there, look at me. Lift your hands and look at me. Just look at me. Father, as you deliver her, let the power of God go to her family. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the power of God touch you and set you free and set your family members free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you all out? Eh? You are all Victoria. There's someone here. Please. Don't feel embarrassed. They took you to a harbor list. Listen. They took you to a harbor list and they gave you something to drink. Please, who is that person? I'm not saying you are bad. This is not, this is a family. Please. It's very important. The Lord is instructing me. I want to pray for you and break that thing. Please. This is a family thing. It's not even like it's just you. Please. We need to break this. There's, there's no reason to be embarrassed. Hallelujah. Can I pray for your mother? Hold my hands. Father, sickness will never return to the mother. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, Victoria. Look at me. May God visit your family. Please, this person I've spoken about, please, Make sure you come out. Don't, don't be embarrassed. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. They took you to a harbor list. They gave you something. One kind of... You are the one? You see the one? You are the one? This thing is affecting you. Wait. Stand up. Look at me. Don't feel bad. Just stand up. Stand up. Let me talk to you. Look at me. If I don't pray for you, you will die this year. Because this thing is going to kill you. Are you getting my point? That's why I called you out. Please remove his glasses. Hold it for it. Let, me, let it not break. Hold my hands. Because this guy sees dead people in his dreams. And he doesn't even know why. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. The power of God will come through your body right now. And you'll be delivered. Blotting out every handwriting. And ordinance. Right now. Be free everything you have taken inside your body that is destroying you. Go! Be free right now. Sister, let me pray for you. Look at me. There is bad luck in your life. Everything works well for others until it gets to your point. Huh? Is that true? We need to pray very seriously. Even you, you are worried about your relationship with Jesus Christ. Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right? You see, listen, it's either you are for God completely 
part of the reason why a lot of people get into trouble is that you're halfway with God, halfway with something else. Hallelujah. Tonight, part of what will happen to you is that a fire will be planted in your spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you, my dear? Look at me. Why am I seeing rings on your hand? Physically, there are no rings, but I'm seeing rings on all your ten fingers. Look at me. I need to pray for you. Huh? You need to be very, very serious with God. Welcome home. God loves you and he wants to transform your life. Huh? But for now, you'll be delivered. Right? Thank you, Jesus. Right now, I curse this spirit. Leave her now. I see you in the realm of the spirit and it's time for you to go. Take away this devilish thing you are put in her life. Right now. Out. I hear the chains falling. You are not standing in for yourself, but for your elder sister. God wants to visit her. Lay your hands on your stomach, because what is happening to her will happen to you. Lord, I take out anything you did not plant in her sister's body. Even right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let there be restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. I need to break the spirit of loss from your life. Huh? I need to break it. I'm not saying you're a bad girl. Are you getting my point? Hold my hands. Just look at me. You are a devil of darkness. Leave this girl now. Go! Out of her now. Break chains. Your eyes is open, but in the spirit you are blind. And God needs to open your eyes. That's why you are in a lot of confusion. Father, let her eyes be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break the spirit of timidity from your life. And you too. Same thing. Same thing. Out! Leave her. God has not given us the spirit of fear. on your stomach just look at me Lord set her free from this pain something will come upon you right now and that demonic pain will go let her go Jesus. hallelujah hallelujah Where's the woman that came with her family from Abuja? Is she here? Quickly, madam, come with all your children. Please, all of them. Celebrate them as they come quickly. Break. Your time of visitation has come. That devil that oppresses you. Just give flowing strings. Please just play something for Hallelujah. Witchcraft. This is what is destroying the whole family. Witchcraft. This is not just the issue of prayer and fasting. This is the issue of deliverance out of this. Right? Where is the son? Come. Something comes upon you. You feel like something comes upon you. And when it comes upon you, you do a lot of destructive things. You will even have power that ordinarily you won't be able to have. Is that true? You feel that kind of thing? Amen. You'll be delivered. Amen. Right? Amen. Madam, I need to pray even for the finance of the family. It's not like you are lazy, but you are suffering for nothing. Is that true? Please help us. Is this mic working? Hallelujah. Okay, don't worry. We'll just use one. Is that? Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. Huh? When someone works so hard 
so hard and then in the end of it there is nothing to write home about it's an error but the Lord will correct it my brother the Lord bless you you're born again you love Jesus yes, just you or your children myself and my children hold my hands my brother look at me Jesus will set you free right now right you believe that hold my hands let's cast that devil of darkness out of your life father by your mercy in the name of Jesus go that's the end it's free I need to pray for you you're going to feel like fire from my hands to your hands and within two weeks you will have a major financial restoration two weeks you believe it Jesus confirm your word right now out of her now out of her that devil of darkness I command financial restoration for you where are the children both of you you love God you are going to teach the word you huh? this boy he's going to love God and he's going to, you know this now God has already told you yes he has been God has told you he, he, he has, has been, been into it he, he has, has been, been into it yes. because the Lord showed me I saw him standing with a Bible and the Lord says he will teach the word hallelujah I'll pray for you you don't teach the Bible just with English there is an anointing tonight I lay my hands upon you let that spirit of wisdom and understanding come upon you right now step into a new dimension I open your understanding to understand scriptures in the name of Jesus Christ you love God but we must pray so that because of the quest for establishment you will not join bad people you want to be successful but what God does not give you you cannot get huh? because there are bad people around your life you are a good person but there are all kinds of bad people and we must pray huh? lay your hands on your chest there's something that will leave you you did not even know when you started fraternizing with what is not of God but tonight my God let there be deliverance you are literally going to feel something leaving your chest right now let him go right now thank you Jesus restore this family oh God in the name of Jesus go and return with your testimony where's the guy that has been skipping from university to university his sister brought him are you here the last Nsuka, bring him quickly. His time of deliverance has come. Everywhere this guy goes, spirits torment him. He has come and come and stand here. This is your night of visitation. It's over. Look at this guy. Listen, I want you to appreciate what God is doing in this place. There are people whose lives are, I'm not saying clap. The greatest gift you can give anybody is not money, it's not car is to bring him to a place where he can find genuine restoration hallelujah how many universities come you are come are you not the one who brought him how many universities same university they've they've driven him twice twice you think it's normal for somebody to get admission twice unn right and yes, sir. god will deliver him Amen. come my brother it's not it's not like you are lazy huh it's not like you are lazy because I'm seeing something like foam on his mouth and you cannot even articulate it's, like, it's as if you are manipulated God is going to set you free you believe this? yes Lord you reign forever Lord you reign forever Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Something will leave you right now and you'll be free. Let him go. Now! Lord, restore to him the years that the canker worm has eaten. 
restore to him the years that the palmer worm has eaten in the name of Jesus Christ restore to him restore to him let him rise up a brand new person I worship you hallelujah if there's any case of barrenness here whether for yourself or for your loved ones please come out here if you're married and you're experiencing barrenness let them stand in the front if you're standing here for yourself please don't just be emotional we're not joking here this is very serious business look at me look at me listen let me tell you something and don't please don't find it offensive every case of barrenness is demonic what did i say every every i don't care what the doctors say whether they say there is a womb or no womb the the person who is having this situation may not be a bad person but i'm telling you it must be resolved spiritually hallelujah please keep playing you're tired play the strings ladies and gentlemen see the number of people standing for loved ones how many of you are standing in for yourself for your sister just look at me look at me she's going to be delivered right now where she is from me. don't worry just look at me just look at me let her go you are feeling something coming up on you right now let her go now by the power of the holy ghost whether they say fibroid or no womb is irrelevant i'm just telling you that this is a demonic issue but when god steps in you won't go back you can't go back to the way it used to be before his presence came and changed me just try to connect and hold your hands together and lift it up madam come let me pray for you look at me how many years and then he stopped we are going to pray look at me this is a family thing hold on because it's not only you who else my junior sister your junior sister has the same thing she has never had a child that's to tell you this is a spirit but as God sets you free he will set her free too Onegi kagi ekele diwigi onye ne mema onye di kagi ekele diwigi lay your hands on your stomach onye na oria look at me onye di kagi go and have your child onye ne mema father in the name of Jesus onye di kagi I open up your womb to receive okay, baby boy okay, you will come back with a baby boy okay, lift your hands and sing hallelujah please lift your hands i'm going to pray for you whether you are standing in for yourself or for your family members the fire of God will come upon you and that person in question will be released you are standing as a point of contact my God I pray that from my left to my right in the name of Jesus let the angel of fruitfulness move across this place at the count of three one two three right now wombs be open Wombs be open. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Miracle children. Take it for your loved ones. Take it. Take it from the realm of the spirit. Whoever you are standing in for. I command all medical complications. Go. All medical complications.
go I cause fibroid I cause every cyst in the name of Jesus all those who do not have wombs we put brand new wombs now brand new wombs in the name of Jesus the fire of the Holy Ghost is burning a lot of things burning a lot of chaff every spirit of miscarriage I curse it right now I curse it right now I curse it right now the spirit of miscarriage every spirit that comes to eat up children in the womb I arrest you you are bound you remain bound hallelujah I prophesy to every one of you here make sure you tell your loved ones we prayed for them that in the name that is above all names they will not only take in they will give birth like the Hebrew women we forbid CS in the name of Jesus they will give birth normally no devil will eat up any child there will be no miscarriage and for those who have stayed a long time we command twins we command triplets let there be a restoration I provoke it by the hand of God please don't think we're just entertaining prophecy does not just reveal it creates it creates it creates I tell you a lot of things are happening pregnancy is not just when a man meets a woman Mary said be it unto me we put miracle children in their wombs right now from the realm of the spirit hallelujah God bless you please go back to your seat we see miracles everywhere miracles everywhere miracles everywhere. hallelujah now very quickly if you came here specifically for healing I want to minister to the sick right now specifically for healing or you brought someone sick now is your time please quickly ushers coordinate them so that they will line up very well you came here with any infirmity please if you brought someone now is the time to bring them out the worship team will lead us in a powerful time of worship as we rebuke that devil no matter how far you are wherever you are please find your way to the front you came here for healing it's called a miracle service it's not just a name please I need to pray for sick people fast because we need to release breakthroughs in other areas there are people who your own is not sickness your own is breakthrough please just line up those under the anointing just leave them there is a pool some of you as you are standing here right now the power of God will even begin to touch you before we minister now we are going to do it very fast hallelujah listen it doesn't matter what your sickness is right the anointing is not just the ability to heal is the ability to bring solutions to any kind of problem are you getting my point so while you are standing I'd like you to pray and say Lord I'm not going back the same I'm tired this is it this is it worship team leaders bishop please come help me 
Pastor Williams. Hallelujah. Please, those of you who are seated, make sure you are not just seated watching. Be praying in tongues. We will minister very quickly. In case you are seated and you've not written your prayer request, let's save time. Now is the time to start writing your prayer request. And our online community, those streaming online, please, they can bring their prayer request. Hallelujah. Father, thank you because of your power. Let every sick body be healed. Let every sick body be healed in the name of Jesus. What's our genotype? What's our genotype? I'm not her mom. Who brought her? Mother, where are you? Where's the mother? You are the mother. What's her genotype? SS. She's SS. Don't worry. We're going to change it right now. Huh? Not just her, but this is something that will need to happen in the family. There is sickness parading itself as blood condition. It's not blood condition, anything. Change this lady's genotype right now, baby. Let SS change to AA right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. And I cast the spirit of infirmity from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection in your body, in Jesus' name. Jesus, there is What's wrong with you, madam? Jesus. Hold on, please. Your son too is SS. All of you are SS. Huh? You too, you are SS. Hallelujah. Madam, don't cry. Weep not. For there is one who is worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll. Hallelujah. Your child too. Can somebody collect the child, please? So that I'll pray for her. He's sleeping, so just let him continue his sleep. Father, we change his genotype right now in the name of Jesus. And we rebuke sickness. Please hold my hands. I need to pray for you. There is a lot of poverty in your life. Look at me. Why do people hate you? Huh? Is that true? What? I can't understand why. How can they just hate you just like that? Look at me. The enemy has done this. But tonight God visits you. Change her story, oh God. Change her story. You will return with testimonies of dramatic breakthrough in Jesus' name. All right, let's save time. Healing in your name. Jesus. As I pray for you, as you go back to your seat, make we sure you check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Say Jesus. In God is out. Come out. A glory out of her. Now. God. Out of her. Now. That devil of darkness. God be healed now. Out of her. A Spirit of infirmity. God is a glory. Be set free now.
out of her. He's a glorious God. In the name of yeah, yeah. You are the 
joy of the whole world. And you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised, Lord. Beautiful God of the creation. You are the joy of the whole world. The great and mighty God. Go out of her now. So greatly out of her. To be praised. You want to join be healed right now. I change that medical result. Email love. Email love. somebody a lady outside there is one lady the power of God will come mightily upon her please bring her in I need to speak to her the power of God will come very mightily on one lady very very mightily I can't remember why I called you people honestly let me pray for you your father is in this meeting where is he i need to talk to him you're the best eh? he's not around i mean he's here you mean he's in town he's in town he's not okay i thought he was around i need to talk to him go and tell him that the gates of delay has been shattered look at me look at me does it make sense to you what i'm saying go and tell your father that the gates of delay has been shattered father confirm your word i give you praise Your hands will bring bread to your table. You are a creative person. Make use of your hands. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. I want to specifically deal with certain things right now. Hallelujah. Um, I'm not going to ask you to come out, but I hope that they came out here. We want to rebuke all kinds of incurable diseases. I just want to take one or two minutes and rebuke incurable diseases because if we do not help God's people, medically is incurable. HIV, hepatitis, all these satanic things around. Make sure you never believe these things and settle on them believing that that's how we would be. So please stand up everybody. Stand up please. Please rise up everybody. We want to speak against every medical report that the doctor has said nothing can be done about it. And in case you are here and any of your loved ones is in the sick bed, please connect with them even as we pray right now. Hallelujah. Father, I pray right now specifically for incurable diseases we depend on you and we ask for your mercy without your mercy these people are on their way to death but I thank you because you are the resurrection and you are the life and right now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands anyone with HIV in this place I declare be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ HIV be healed in the name of Jesus cancer be healed in the name of Jesus every form of cancer every form of cancer be healed in the name of Jesus every kind of hepatitis right now in this place I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus Christ hepatitis be healed be gone in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. For blood groups, we are going to deal with that one when I minister prophetically. Please lift your prayer requests. Pass it to the person at the last, at the last end. Ushers, please walk around all over this building. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is ministering to me. I want to specially pray for families with uncompleted building projects. Please find your way quickly and just stand here. The Lord wants to minister. Just one word I will speak. I want you to believe. I'm not saying you want to build a house. Please. The power of God is touching people and changing uncompleted projects. Uncompleted projects. Please believe what I'm saying. I'm not just playing pranks here. As you're standing here, the Lord is going to set people free. Okay, if, if there's no space, just stand where you are and then I'll pray for you. Lift your hands, everybody. It will surprise you. The Bible says how that the hand of God came Lift your hands. The hand of God came upon Elijah the prophet and he ran. The Bible says he overtook the chariots of Ahaz down to Jezreel. I want to pray. We are going to pray for everybody prophesying speed but I want to pray because the Lord is ministering to me. Specifically for building projects. Some of them are tied down because of finance. Some of them are tied down because of court issues. Some of them are tied down because of diabolic demonic things it doesn't matter what category sir or Gaza, God is going to visit you because your issue is it looks like it's money but it's not money this is witchcraft God is going to set you free are you getting what I'm saying lift your hands please my God I pray 
goodness there will be a lot of mighty miracles i want you to believe many of you are going to feel literally like fire it will come on your right hand it will come on your right hand in a very powerful way all across here right now the angel of the lord will move right now right now father in the name of jesus move right now everything stopping any uncompleted project your right hand the power of god is a prophetic language the right hand of god is power and by that power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus i command every uncompleted project be completed now in the name of jesus be completed now in the name of jesus every power stopping any building project i challenge you right now in the name of jesus every lack of finance responsible i command supplies from heaven supplies from heaven supplies from heaven supplies from heaven every land issue in this place every court issue we resolve it here tonight in the name of jesus christ go and return with mighty testimonies let the hand of god the finishers anointing let it come upon you and upon your loved ones a finishers anointing that unction that comes to finish what you have started receive it right now in jesus name god bless you please run back to your seat submit your prayer request very quickly hallelujah please listen there are a number of people here the lord is ministering to me mike can you play strings who is playing please play strings 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 just play strings hallelujah the lord is showing me a few people here please listen you had a dream and in the dream either a dog or a serpent beat you please come out there are a number of people in that kind of situation god is ministering to me that devil is a liar and what please if if this is if you're part of these people have mentioned please come out a dog or a serpent i'm just flowing as the holy spirit is showing me because this is very demonic that lady is is, is one of the people and she'll be delivered right now no matter where you are hiding even if you didn't come out here as i pray the power of god will locate you it's a very serious situation please stand up everybody Please stand up, everybody. Bala, you're just going to clash the symbol for me. I'm going to pray. Because this is a very demonic thing. The Lord is ministering to me. This is the deliverance of someone right now. A snake or a, or a dog, an animal, beat you in the dream. It didn't create any effect, but you may not know what it is causing to you right now goodness i see a pruning fork an angel of the lord standing with a pruning fork hallelujah at the count of three as they clash the simba there will be mighty deliverances here and some of you in the crowd as it's happening to them it will happen to you hallelujah father right now let your power begin to move every demonic object in your body right now at the count of three come out Jump out and go. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Out of them. Out of them. Some people in the congregation, it will touch you there too. Out of them. Every foul spirit. I'm going to lay my hands on everybody. Out of them. Out of them. Out of them. Out of them, out of them, out of them, please help them. 
out of them, out of them, come out, come out, everything that has not been planted by my father that is responsible for your limitation. Hey, hey. Oh yeah. Hey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I command deliverance. I command deliverance. Oh yeah. I command deliverance. Oh yeah. You will be delivered mightily. This is a demonic thing on you. Release her now. Release her now. Now. Out. Release her now. Release her now. You must let her go. 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 Let her go. Out. Come out. Every demonic ring, every demonic chain, every demonic ring, every demonic chain. Let God's people go right now. Go. Release her right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let her go by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Take off everything. Take your property. Pack your load on your back. Get set. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Go, go. Out of her now. Thou devil of darkness. Out of her. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. I break covenants. I break yokes. Every act of witchcraft. I plead the blood. And I set you free. Now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. This is the root cause of many problems in our lives and our families. Preachers have told us once you are born again, it's all right. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. You are seeing it by yourself that it's not all right. There is an operation of the kingdom that must separate you with darkness. Some of these people, what is happening to them is responsible for stubbornness, immorality, and we come and preach in church. We say, stop it. It can't be stopped till that devil gives way. Bring this lady for me. Let her go now, once and for all. Remove this demonic ring. I see a lot of rings on her feet on her hands remove it and pack your load and go 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 see bro you should thank me for what i'm doing i'm preparing your wives and husbands you just get up and come and meet a lady and then you don't pray you see why we tell people to be spiritual that's why many people keep wondering 
why will a brother come to me and run away or why will a sister come I break covenants. This is an usher. This is our own usher. Go. Go. I see you in the spirit. And I command you to go. This spirit that is tormenting this lady. The Lord is showing me. This thing has been in this family for 178 years. This is what God is showing me. It has nothing to do with her. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's save time. Have you submitted this? Father, let none of these people return with any influence. It must let them go. It must let them go. Hallelujah. So you see a student will write jam and write wayek and enter the school and all of a sudden become dull and people keep insulting. This child is not good. You think people just smoke because they want to smoke or they sleep around just because they want to sleep around? Brothers and sisters, there are influences and it takes the power of the Holy Spirit to keep the devil where he belongs so that the people of God can enter the reality of their inheritance. That's why you see people who keep testifying. Oh, breakthrough just started happening in my family. You may not know what has been limiting them. That's why here we don't just heal the sick. I told you the anointing is the power of God to solve problems. Any kind of problem. It's not just healing. It's not just wheelchairs. There are destinies that are tied down and they need the power of God. You will be amazed that after you leave this meeting tonight, doors will just be opening. You will see how easy it is and then you will know that something happened to you. It doesn't matter whether you came out here or not. Once you are under the influence of this sound, something is happening to you. Hallelujah. I want to pray on this request right now. Hallelujah. Many of you have communicated your thoughts and that of your family members right here. Please, if anyone has not submitted your request, do that very fast. As we pray on these requests, I don't care what you wrote here. May this be the last time you will see it. In the name of Jesus Christ, every pharaoh and every egypt that you wrote and dropped here as surely as the lord god leaves this will be the very last time hallelujah stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues bishop come please pastor williams come as we pray on the request pray in tongues Pray in tongues. Sheba kapa la da bakaria da 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 da. Make sure you are praying in tongues. Rekoto pro so patabala. Visitation, oh God. Sembre toko shoto balakapa. Visit your people. Mam breke te 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 bakata ba 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 ba. Visit your people, oh God. Let there be breakthroughs. Visit your people. Visit your people. Visit your people. Visit your people. She break the balaradaraba. Oh ne. She get the get the ba 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 ba. Oh rakata balaraba. Please stretch your hands. Connect with us. All those online. They should connect with us. Lord, let this be the last time.
Thank you, Father. Because with you, nothing is impossible. With you, no request is impossible. Anything that is not in existence can be created. Father, we thank you. Because this request cannot defy your power. Thank you, Jesus. Because it is possible. Thank you, Jesus. We see the answers. Lord, we receive in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Because from this night forward, we begin to see the manifestations of everything we wrote here. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for healing. Thank you for breakthrough for families. Thank you for jobs. Thank you for marriages. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. We celebrate you, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We declare and we speak over these requests. We turn them into testimonies. We turn them into testimonies. We turn them into testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you're a minister of the gospel and you came, you came from another place. What I mean, minister, make sure you're a preacher, minister of the gospel, you're a ministry, and you came from outside of this state. Please come out. I want to minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Is there anyone like that? Please quickly, quickly, let's save time. Just come and line up here. The Lord will ignite you tonight. Hallelujah. Do ministry with integrity. Do ministry with truth. Ministry is not about money or flamboyancy or manifestation or going on air. It has no, nothing to do with that. Hallelujah. Ministry with integrity, with the fear of the Lord. That who you are in the open is who you will be in the secret. The secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenant. I want to pray for you that God will characterize your life and your ministry with signs and wonders that struggling will end for you in the name of Jesus Christ lift your hands as I pray for you my God in the name of Jesus let something come upon them in the name of Jesus let something come upon them by the power of the Holy Ghost let something come upon them in the name of Jesus let something come upon them let something come upon them in the mighty name of Jesus we're about rounding up please rise up the prophetic ministration is the greatest part of this meeting as far as I'm concerned please stand up everybody this is the moment I want you to shout amen we're about to open doors breakthroughs of all sorts in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah Wherever you can hear my voice, make sure that you shout a big amen. Please lift your hands. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. It said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. This is not the doing of any man. What you see is an election of grace. When God calls people, he empowers them. There are vessels today carrying anointings that can change people's situations and change people's story. Hallelujah. And I'm about to pray for you that something will truly open up in your life. This is the part you get to receive. 
Lift your hands. Hallelujah. Can you play the keyboard, Mike, please? Please lift your hands. I want you to shout Amen with everything that you have. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, O ye everlasting door. Every gate limiting your progress in the name of Jesus will shatter that gate into pieces. I shatter it into pieces. Into pieces. I command gates. 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 Hear ye the word of the Lord. Gates. I command Ephata. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Gates of marriages. Gates of restoration. Be open. Anyone trusting God for a job here in the name that is above all names, I command miracle jobs now. Miracle jobs now. Miracle jobs now. I provoke your destiny helpers. May they find you. May they help you. May they honor you. For every limitation you have experienced in your life and your finances in the name that is above every other name I command breakthrough receive breakthrough receive breakthrough in every area of your life breakthrough in your academics breakthrough every result that is not your own we change it tonight. We change it tonight. Let the angel of God go to every faculty, every department. We command change. Any family that has been victimized in this place, any family that has been victimized in the name that is above all names, Whoever plan evil against your family, we judge them this night. Let the sword of judgment rest upon evil doers. Let the sword of judgment. Whoever said your family will not lift up their heads. May my God judge them. May my God judge them. Hallelujah. Every ordinance of darkness, every enchantment, every spell that has been written over your life that you will not become what God died, what Jesus died for you to become this night. We blot out those handwritings. We set those altars on fire, those shrines on fire. And we release you. Anyone here who has suffered delay of any kind. I don't know what area you have suffered delay. Or your loved ones. But I want to pray for you right now. My Bible says and I will restore to you. The years. Canker worms can eat time. They can eat years of men's lives. But I pray. My God and my King right now. I shout it in the spirit. Restoration. 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 Receive it. Restoration. I prophesy. I decree. Restoration. Of joy. Of peace. Of finances. Of opportunities. Hallelujah. 
there are some of you because of your mistakes of the past certain things have happened in your life and like Samson many people are laughing at you and mocking you that will your strength return I want to prophesy to you just like the hair of Samson grew back I call forth anointings that left because of indiscipline I call back opportunities that left people because they misused it I call it back I call it back the God who changes times make it change times to your favor hallelujah now lift your hands there will be impartations right now it is vain to attempt to serve God without the empowerment of the spirit there are many of you who are passionate about the things of God what you need is fire in your life what you need is grace what you need is authentic unction I'm going to pray for you let the men around you know you are serving a living God lift your hands it's going to clash the cymbal and I'm going to begin to speak and there will be impartations of gifts prayer altars will come alive dry bones will come alive make sure lift your hands thank you Jesus hallelujah you're going to shout the name Jesus once and I'm going to begin to speak many of you my God I pray especially for those who have never had encounters dramatic deep encounters let these encounters swallow up spiritual laziness swallow up prayerlessness right now shout the name Jesus once take it now receive it the gift of the Holy Ghost fire fire take it take it inside and outside fire the spirit of prophecy receive it the healing anointing I release it upon you go and heal the sick receive it the healing anointing take it prophesy visions I command visions visions let the vistas of the spirit be open up to you every gift available for your enriching I command prayer fire take it now take it now prayer fire prayer fire prayer fire reketa tete e prokotoba man prakata e koske e bandapa reketa tete reketa tete e prokotoba I found the fire on your prayer altar it comes back alive I pray for you right now the Bible says because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with the oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows the anointing for distinguishing take it now take it now take it now take it now everywhere you go be set apart be distinguished take it now hallelujah hallelujah and the Bible says Esther went to a man called Haggai the one who took care of the virgins of the king and he gave her a particular ointment to keep rubbing for one year and she passed the king once 
and he found favor i want to pray for you that anointing that can cause you to write sweatlessly that grace for favor in the name that is above all names receive it now receive it now receive it now Sheka baba ba sekete mam protoskopa so teke te 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 teke te baba 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 mam prateke te yes be distinguished the favor of the lord is upon you the favor of the lord is upon you it marks you the favor of the lord is upon you it marks you hallelujah there are many of us who are praying and say lord what was i born for why did you bring me here what was i born to do i want to pray for you lift your hands it says lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written no confusion a purposeless man will never find fulfillment I want to pray that God will grant you revelation of the reason why you were born that out of the seven billion people in the earth you were born for a reason therefore my God let the angel that brings revelation visit your people in the name of Jesus through dreams through visions through prophetic confirmations receive the mandate of your life receive the blueprint of your life hallelujah every habit that you are struggling with that is mocking your christian experience i don't care what it is pornography masturbation anything that is compromising your christian experience right now i judge the spirits behind it i judge the spirits behind it and i command them to let you go be free be free be free be free from every habit be free hallelujah for those of you who do not have a zeal to study the word again it's not like you're not serious you don't even know what has happened to you there's no zeal to study the word some of you are finding yourself you were once on fire in terms of your word life some of you would pray through the night some of you would study suddenly distractions happen i want to pray right now son of man can these bones live again and he said only thou knowest i prophesy to you every dead spiritual life in this place my god i pray let the wind the east wind that reawakens dead things that is responsible for resurrection from the east side of the spirit let that wind blow over your life and bring restoration now 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 hallelujah listen to me god wants to make the best out of your life but you must be willing to yield yourself there are two kinds of people in this place right now there are those who have been taking these things of the spirit just playing around you may be born again but your life is so unpredictable you're not serious you know that you need to make it right there are others who have never made this decision for jesus you go to church you have a christian name hallelujah and there are others who are backslidden completely and they need to be restored 
as I count one to five, those three categories of people, whether you've given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing, or you are praying and saying, Lord, I want to be serious with you from today. Or you are saying, Lord, I'm surrendering everything. As I count one to five, please, I'd like you to run like your life depends on it. God is waiting for you right here. One, please don't wait for anybody. Two, inside and outside. It doesn't matter what you have done. Run, run, run. I didn't say walk, run. Run like your life depends on it. Three, Jehovah, we praise you. Jehovah, we praise you. We praise your name. We praise your name. I want to pray for you lift your hands i salute you for making this decision this is not unto a man but this is unto god hallelujah i like you to say this after me from the depths of your heart please don't play games with god god is willing to make your life better than you can ever imagine now is the time to shame the devil and say enough is enough enough i'm tired enough is enough say after me convincingly from the depths of your heart lord jesus i repent of my sins you're not reciting a point make sure you understand what you are saying i repent of my sins and i love you with all my heart forgive me today i make jesus the Lord of my life I ask for forgiveness cleanse me wash me I receive your life into my spirit from today forward ever and backward never I denounce sin and Satan and I live unto righteousness Holy Spirit come and live in me make me a new person in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted and I'll pray for you father receive these ones into your kingdom and your family let today be the beginning of a dramatic and a genuine transformation I break them free from wrong companies and Lord I pray that they will be empowered in the inner man to do mighty things for you hallelujah praise the lord now look at me every one of you i congratulate you this is the best decision you would have ever made in your life and i want you to know that no matter what went wrong in your life this is a fresh start hallelujah now tomorrow listen please tomorrow bishop stan will be meeting with you at the chapel just close to the chapel bookstore for the experience of the baptism in the holy spirit you need it they'll be guiding you sharing with you a few foundational things it's very very important time is what sir 5 p.m prompt please 5 p.m prompt for now i'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving at you and they'll have your information we'll pray for you and we'll follow you god bless you please follow them God bless you. Follow them very quickly. Hallelujah. Let's take the following announcements very quickly. If you're worshiping with us for the first time, this is your first time. Aside from those who are going out, if this is your first time of worshiping with us here at Koinonia, we love you and we want to bless you. Please, wherever you are, just find your way to the front right now. God bless you. Please find your way quickly, quickly. Koinonia, celebrate them. This is not your best. There are people who came all the way from Jos, all the way from Abuja, different parts. Thank you so much. God bless you. I 
Hallelujah. God bless you. This is Koinonia, the ministry put together by Eternity Network International. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate and we celebrate you. We meet every Friday. This is not our venue. Our venue is CGC. We had to make an arrangement because there was something going on there. So we'll be there from next week. We're back to our venue. The Lord bless you. Thank you so much for coming. Your life will never remain the same in Jesus' name. Stretch your hands, saints of God, and just bless them. Pray for them. May the Lord bless you. We cause the heavens to be open over you. We bless you with hunger for spiritual things. In the name that is above all names. May you experience the hand of God in dramatic ways. You will understand the intimacy of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Thank you once again for coming. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you. Hallelujah. I'd like you to just follow the ushers. They'll communicate a few things to you and you'll be back. Thank you so much. Koinonia, celebrate them very quickly. God bless you. Thank you. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.